Hi everybody, welcome. It's Monday night, eight o'clock Eastern, time for Stamping with Denise. I hope everybody had a nice weekend. We're gonna give just a second for people to join us here. I'm also gonna find it and share this to my Facebook page so that uh, some of my friend, other friends can find me. So, here in Michigan, we got a lot of rain over the weekend. Freezing rain. So, it was, um, let's see here, I'm trying to figure out how I do this. It was kind of rough. So, let's see where this is going to show this to. There we go, I've got it. Okay, yeah, so it was kind of a nasty weekend. Had a lot of rain, which turned to ice, not so much snow, so it was kind of treacherous. I'm gonna apologize ahead of time for my voice. I've kind of been um, sick. You know, it's not like sick enough to stay home from work, but you just don't feel good. So like today's the first day I haven't had a sore throat, so I have some a warm beverage here, so if I take a minute, so my my cute little Boston. Oh, look at this mug! Isn't this cute? I show you this one. It's got one Boston Terrier. It says "Quit farting," and then on the other side, there's another one. It says, "Whoops, sorry, that was you." So that's so cute, and that's absolutely true. These little dogs can rip one, but we love them anyway. So if I have to stop and take a um, drink to kind of soothe my throat so I don't cough, please um, bear with me. Okay, so if you recall, while well, we're waiting folks to join us, as you call last week, we made this card. Um, I'm trying to get it. this happy birthday card using some of the beautiful Poppy Designer Series paper and the stamp set. And um, remember, if you share my videos, um, you get a chance to win the card we make that night on the video you shared. And Darlene Clark, I'm going to send this one out to Darlene. So, Darlene, I'll get that out in the mail soon. I have your address, and I'll make sure you get it. So, good. Um, let's see, let me pull this open here. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead, I will um, put the phone up in the holder, and we will get started, Okay. Hold on just a second while I turn the phone around. Okay. Oops, sorry there. Okay, well the card today features some really pretty designer series paper from the Parisian Blossom Suite, okay? And, um... Let me fix this here. Let's see if we can get my, I had this all centered there. There we go, perfect. Whoops, too much. Oh, okay, just right. Okay, so this is the really pretty paper. We're just, we're not gonna use so much of the stamp set except one stamp out of it. But this really pretty designer series paper features the colors of Cherry Cobbler, Petal Pink and Pool Party. And then of course you can see silver in it too, okay? So I'm gonna show you, the, I thought I should take a minute and show you the papers and the designer series paper and then and the stamp sets we're gonna use today and then we will get started. I'm using kind of a combination of things from the um, mini catalog. So here I like these Eiffel Towers and the silver, very pretty. And the flip side of that is just a nice, kind of neutral pool party color, okay? The, here we've got our um, pink and our cherry cobbler. We've got some keys. There's some fleur de, fleur de -lis. Very New Orleans. Um, this is the paper we're gonna use in today's card. It has, I'm going to call it a dog, it looks to me like a dogwood. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it is. wonder if it's a different flower. If anybody knows, let me know what this flower has. To me, it looks like a dogwood. 
Okay, and if you look behind in the background, it has the flowers and it has some script in there too. You can see just really faintly. Then on this side is again, another nice neutral color. I'm using the petal pink. Here's another, it has the silver with some the flowers and that's imprinted over the the same flowers that were on the other one but smaller just kind of go it's it's very unusual i really like that paper there we go we got pink and cherry cobbler kind of just a geometric pattern this one's more geared for traveling so um we've got some suitcases some we call it cancellations there's a circle here with around the Eiffel Tower and it says 1889 and then they've got it big too and if you turn it over it has that same little emblem repeated over and over and I had to look that up I didn't know what the significance at first I thought it said 1989 and then when I look close it says 1889 and I had to google it and that was the year that the World's Fair was in Paris and that I believe that the Eiffel Tower was, you know, um, dedicated, you know, was opened. So that's the significance of the 1889 paper. There's your history lesson for today. And I really like this one. I thought this one would be very pretty. Um, it's the pink, petal pink with silver words. And then it also has the words in the really in a really light petal pink and the reverse is this really pretty again flower pattern in the light and dark pool party so very nice nice uh, papers for you know variety of things um, the card we're gonna make today like I said I'm using a variety of products from different suites we're gonna make this really fun birthday card in a um, kind of a fun fold okay um, you can see I've used the designer series paper that I just showed you from that pack. And this is one of the, this suite actually has two stamp sets and two sets of dies in it. And um, the only place I used any of the stamps is I used this one right on the inside just to kind of dress it up a little bit, okay? Um, the ribbon and the um, champagne gems also come from that suite. Of products and then the happy birthday comes from the layered with kindness stamp set and it coordinates with the label me lovely punch that we'll be using so why don't we go ahead and get started and I will show you how to put this really pretty card together okay um, let me pull my measurements off the back here so I can see them okay so we're gonna start out with a piece of pool party and at this time, it's a piece of, it's a half piece of, of cardstock. So let me show you. You know, normally a piece of cardstock is, you know, eight and a half by 11 right here. Normally we're cut it this way and fold it in half. But this time we cut it longwise. And this makes it four and a half by 11, okay? And you can see then it, this is a, would be a fun fold. You could fold, just fold it in, in half if you wanted to, but this is a little bit different, a little bit interesting, unexpected. And so what, kind of a gatefold card, but instead of being sideways, it's up and down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna score each end at two and three quarter inches, okay? So I gotta make sure I have my scoring um, thing. I labeled it with scoring. I haven't cut the wrong thing yet when I meant to score, but I'm waiting. Okay, so let me pull this up where you can see it. Let me see here. Let me move some things out of the way. I had stuff laid out and then I forgot my thing is so long. Okay, so two and it's two, two and a half, two and three quarters. And we're gonna do that on each end and I'm gonna use my score. Then I'm gonna do that on the other end. Now you can eyeball this. But um, I decided to just score it, and then I know I get it. All right, you don't have, you know, you can just eyeball it by, if you know this is 11, 
then you know that half of it is five and a half. And you know, you could just put it on here. Just fold this side in to five and a half like that. And the other side right up to it, and you'd know you'd be the same, but you can see I did it by scoring. So you don't have to have the scoring um, tool, or yeah, but uh, it's nice, helps you get a nice straight one. Okay, and you know what we'll go ahead and do? We'll go ahead and do the inside first, okay? This is just a piece of Whisper White we're gonna put in on the inside. We'll, and then we'll be done with that. And we're gonna use Memento Black Ink. And there we go. Let me put that there. Let's stick. And then I took the dark pink, dark petal pink, and I'm just gonna kind of color in the um, flower a little bit, okay? Give it a little bit of, I think I'm gonna wait to adhere it until I get the front done, but that's okay. Now this little piece of stamping's done, okay? So I'll just set it off to the side. I didn't color it in completely, but we got it there. Okay. Um, this card here, it, you know, it doesn't want to lay flat, so I know what I'll do. I'll put that right there, those glue dots. Oh, there we go. So then I got a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is three and three quarters by five. It's going to, you know, ultimate we go right there we've got the designer series paper that's three and a half by four and three quarters is that right yep three and a half by four and three quarters that is it didn't look right and we'll we'll attach those two pieces together first and like i said in last week's video i've kind of been using more of the tombow glue lately you know it it's a it's a great product. Takes a little bit of getting used to, and I did not like it in the beginning, but I really do now. And the one thing you never ever have to worry about with the Tombow is that your your projects won't fall apart. Okay, so we'll put that right there. Beautiful. Then we're going to use a piece of vellum. This vellum is three by four. It's going to go right on top. And it just kind of softens it and adds another layer, another dimension to it, okay? Now, we, let me put that down there. Make sure I got all my corners down. I'm going to put just a smidge of glue on that corner there. There we go. You don't want too much. The, ni the nice thing about Tombow glue gives you a little chance to adjust it, but it's once it's on it's on it's not coming off okay on one thing to keep in mind with vellum is a lot of adhesives it's very hard to find an adhesive that doesn't show through that's been my experience so i will um whenever i adhere it i adhere it behind something where it's going to be covered up so i'm going to put a couple of glue dots kind of in the middle and I can always put a couple more in later if I need to. I'm going to put one like one right here. Because the label is pretty big, so that's nice. Let's try that for right now. You don't need a lot. It's very lightweight. We'll just put it right like that. And see, right? I don't know if you can tell, but I, I can see where those two glue dots are right there so it is kind of tricky my vellum wants to curl that's okay once it gets in an envelope or something it'll it'll lay flat because when I put this one together yesterday it was kind of curly too and it didn't take any time for it to flatten out so okay now we're gonna use this ribbon this is from this suite of products and this is the I love this ribbon it's the metallic edge ribbon and it's petal pink it's part of this suite what's interesting is though the metallic in the designer series paper is silver and this is edge gold edged but you know what I don't think it makes any difference especially nowadays everybody's mixing metals so 
Um, I used to be very much a purist, but um, not so much. I'll mix my metals now too. So I'm gonna put a glue dot on either end of the ribbon. You know, I have a hard time, I've told y'all before, gluing the, or tying the ribbon all the way around. It just, I don't like to fight with it, so I just kind of do it the easy way. So put it in the middle and right like that and fold it over. Is it straight? Yep. Good. So there we go. There we go. Great. And I'm going to cut a little piece that will I'll tie my bow with. I'll do that. I'm going to wait to tie the bow until after I put my label on, but this is just really, really pretty ribbon. So, where is, oh, here it is. Here's my piece of petal pink cardstock. And I have my ink. In my stamp, we're going to do the happy birthday. I, I just find with this little memento pad, it's easier to do it like this with, when you have a bigger stamp than you know it gets covered. Okay, I'm going to put this in the corner to stamp this, and then we're going to punch it out. I just put it in the corner, then I don't have to worry about if I've got to go in the right direction to be able to punch it out. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, there we are. Punch it out. Okay. It didn't want to center. And there we are. Great. Um, let me refresh my video here. Okay, um, I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals on this, on the back, attach this to our card. But you know, before I do, I'm going to tell you, when I was putting this together, you know, when I was putting this together, I realized that the back of my, of the front panel showed, and so my ribbon was going to show. So I ended up taking another piece of this cardstock, the exact same color, and just gluing it right on top to kind of cover it up. And that seemed to do just fine. It makes it a tad bit heavier, but you know, the card is not that heavy to begin with. So um, it just helped to kind of cover it up. You could, I suppose you could put a partial piece of, you know, a smaller piece of designer series paper, you know, and an accent. But that's okay. We'll just do this and it won't be a big deal. I just got to get my edges lined up for my glue dries. There we go. And there we are. Okay, so now where I kind of cheated and didn't put my belt, my ribbon all the way around the back, it really doesn't show. Okay, so we're gonna put my happy birthday on here. Right on here. And like I said, that'll flatten down after it's been in an envelope, like when you go to mail it to somebody or something. I'm gonna go ahead and tie this on to make it look like the bow. There we are, good deal. Okay, now we're gonna use these really pretty, I love these, these champagne rhinestones that come with this suite. I just think that they're so pretty. So I just kinda put one on top of this flower here, and then one on top of the other flower. Come on. It's trying to get away from me there. 
There we go, just like that. These, those are gorgeous. And I am going to go ahead and then attach this. I'm going to put some glue. Attach it right up there. And we will be done. Okay, so the nice thing is with the ribbon on there, you know, you know where your uh, glue needs to be on this top half right here. You don't glue the bottom half, then you can't open it up. So you just attach it to the top half of your card. Center it like you would any other layer on your card. And there you go. I guess we'll leave that out there. Okay, there we are. We got a happy birthday card. All ready for Paris. So I want to thank you for joining me tonight. Please share my... Oh, I didn't put the inside in. Hang on. Eh. We'll put the inside panel in real quick. I'm working really hard to try to decorate the insides of my cards. It, You know, it doesn't, doesn't take long. It adds some pizzazz. A little bit of interest, a little bit of sparkle. And so, go ahead and put that in there, too. Okay, so, please, I'd love to send you this card in the mail. So, if you'll share my video, and you, I need to ask you to comment shared in the comments, because if we're not friends, I can't see that you shared, and I will be sending you this card next week. So, I want to thank you very much for joining me. Um, for stamping with Denise and join me next Monday night at 8 o'clock Eastern. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody, and have a wonderful week. Bye.